Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub and welcome to our tutorial on the histology of the lung. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the histology of the lower respiratory tract, starting with some basic concepts so you'll be able to make connections between the gross anatomy and the microscopic structures we'll be discussing later. After that, we'll start travelling down the lower respiratory tract and we'll be discussing the histology of bronchi and how it differs from that of bronchioli. We'll then talk about the terminal bronchiolus the respiratory bronchioles, and the histology of the alveoli. And then we'll make some remarks on the distinct features and the cytology of the alveoli. With regards to clinical notes, we'll talk about a common disease of the lower respiratory tract known as asthma. And finally, we'll summarise the key points of this lecture. So let's start with the basics. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at a histological slide of the apex of the lung, which is the top of the lung and is the region that we're currently highlighting in green. And now we're going to switch to the histological slide. We chose to show this slide first because we can use it to identify several distinguishing features of lung histology, which will tell us that we're looking at respiratory tissue. So let's begin by talking about the appearance of this slide. And the first thing that tells you that this is lung tissue is that it looks like an expanded net of tissue over empty space. So we know that the lung fills with air and expands. And in this slide, you can see how the expansion is preserved during the preparation of histology slides. And we can see it here as an empty space, circumscribed only by thin walls forming incomplete circles around the air. These thin walls are the walls of the alveoli, but don't worry, we'll explore these structures in much more detail a little bit later in the tutorial. So what we just saw comes in a bit of contrast to what we're currently looking at. And this is a histological section of a fetal lung, specifically a lung at 16 weeks of gestation, which would put it in the pseudoglandular phase of development. The entire air conducting bronchial tree up to the terminal bronchioli are set down in this phase, but contrary to the respiratory structures we'll see in the following slides of the tutorial, this slide features a condensed structure which can be said to resemble other tubuloacinous glands. But let's take a bit of a closer look at the section of the pulmonary apex. The next elements which may capture your attention are large hollowed out circular spaces and circular spaces filled with blood cells. So the first group of structures that we're looking at are collectively known as bronchi. And you may notice that some are larger than others and that as they get smaller, their epithelial lining tends to create folds. The second group of structures contains the branches of the pulmonary arteries and veins and these are the blood vessels. You can see that these vary in size. They contain no folds but can usually be discriminated from other structures due to the presence of blood cells inside of them. Finally, there's another element you should be able to recognise when looking at a lung slide, and this is the visceral pleural membrane. And we're going to be switching to another image just to understand this membrane a little bit better. So in this image, we can see that we've highlighted the visceral pleura, and this is the portion of the pleura covering the lungs. The visceral pleura consists of mesothelial cells, elastic tissue, and a sparse fibrocollagenous substrate mainly around blood vessels and lymph vessels. Its role is to minimise friction between the lung and the chest wall, which is also lined by another pleural membrane, the parietal pleura. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.